So today we have a couple of news stories to go over. First one being, it sounds like Gene Haas is sticking around. And the other one being, where is Eric Almarola? What's going on? Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, give me your thoughts on this video. What do you think about Gene Haas returning next year and what do you think is ultimately going on with Eric Almarola and Joe Gibbs Racing. So a little bit earlier today, we had some pretty big, I'd say actually very surprising news. When we had the announcement of Stuart Haas Racing selling, we assumed that all four charters were out the door and most likely the Xfinity program would be gone as well. But me personally, I thought there was a slim chance that it would stick around, but ultimately I thought it would leave the Xfinity series as well. But earlier today, it was announced that Gene Haas does have intentions of sticking around in NASCAR. I'm not leaving. I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> Will still have the Xfinity series program a two-car program, and then in the Cup Series, it will be one charter. The other three charters will be sold or maybe leased to another team. Not sure on the exact details by that. No, no details on sponsorship, on drivers, on teams. Just an update from Gene Haas that he will be continuing his NASCAR program to a certain degree. If some of you that have followed NASCAR for a long time would remember Haas before it was bought partially by Tony Stewart. Because before Stewart Haas Racing existed, it was Haas CNC Racing. Had one car at times, two cars at times. You had multiple drivers drive for that team like Johnny Sauter and Mike Bliss, Jack Sprague, Ward Burton. A multitude of drivers drove for that race team over the years. So I would expect the Cup Series program to kind of look like that next season. And honestly, I don't expect them to return to Ford. I expect them to go back to Chevy like they were years ago as Stuart Haas and like how they were when it was Haas CNC Racing. I think we can all kind of speculate who may have that Cup Series ride. Also with this release, Gene Haas really wants to promote his brands a little bit more on his car. I don't know what that entails. Does that mean he wants to put Haas Automation on the car for like half the season along with Haas Tooling? The whole season, kind of like with the Hendrick Cars deal with Kyle Larson. I'm not exactly sure. If he kind of if he kind of wants to do it like the HendrickCars.com deal, I would fully expect Cole Custer to drive that Cup Series car. But if it's just like half the season or maybe a little bit more than half the season, something like that. I would expect them to maybe go for a driver that at least brings some sponsorship and hopefully has some sort of experience already in the Cup Series. Now on to our other story, and this is kind of an interesting one because I think a lot of people in the industry potentially know what is going on here. The only reason why I say that because I haven't really heard much of anybody that's a legitimate NASCAR media source at Fox or NBC or wherever, I haven't really seen anybody talking about why isn't Eric Almarola racing right now. He won at Martinsville earlier on in the year, and then he was taken off the entry list. I think it was at Charlotte. And now he's getting taken off the entry list again in New Hampshire. And I would consider Loudon, a.k.a. New Hampshire, probably his best racetrack. He's really good at that racetrack and probably would have been the favorite going in. And he's all of a sudden not on the entry list when he was scheduled to race this event as well. 
it's mainly weird and curious because, like I said, no one's talking about this. Joe Gibbs hasn't said anything about it. You look at Eric Almarola's profile, it still says Joe Gibbs Racing. All these different things. Like no one like I said, literally nobody's talking about this. I feel like the whole industry may know about this. And you see this tweet from Joel Edmonds, NASCAR spotter. He's been featured on Door Bumper Clear before, has spotted in the Cup Series for many years. He seems to even know what has gone on with why Eric Almarola is not in the number 20 car in the Xfinity Series for his scheduled events. I wish I had some sort of news to talk about when it comes to this, and that's kind of why I'm bringing this up, because I don't see a lot of people bringing this up at all. I see it talked about on Twitter a whole bunch, talked about here on YouTube a little bit, but no legitimate sources and people in the garage every week are not talking about this and it's really kind of weird and I, I would really like to know why Eric Almarola isn't in the car because Eric Almarola is a very popular driver. Almarola just retired from the Cup Series last season and it was pretty big news to a lot of people, especially those Almarola fans that he was in a comeback for an Xfinity Series part-time schedule with Joe Gibbs Racing. That means he has the opportunity to go out there and win some races before he is done with the career, before he finally calls it quits. And I've heard a couple people put out some different scenarios that I could see as possible. I've heard people say that, oh, Eric Almarola won at Martinsville. Maybe he really wanted to retire on top and went to Coach Gibbs and said, I'm done. I'm, I'm done for the year. Maybe that's, that is possible. I've heard other people say, well, at the end of the season, when they get down to the playoffs, the cup drivers aren't allowed to participate. So maybe they are saving those starts for the end of the season when they get to the playoffs. I could definitely see that too because Eric Amarola has performed very well for Joe Gibbs Racing. Having him in the playoffs to win that owner's title, I could also see that. That's, that's a pretty good... And of course, you have the other scenario where there might have been somebody getting fired, somebody quitting, just really hurt feelings over a situation, which is always possible, especially in NASCAR. We see it happen constantly. Ultimately, like I said, I have no news to break when it comes to that. Just let's kind of have a discussion. What do you guys think? might have happened why is eric amarola not racing for joe gibbs racing right now is he done is he has he called it a career are they kind of kind of like saving a pitcher you know how like in the mlb they kind of save the pitcher for a couple of games until that very important game maybe they're doing that maybe they're saving almarola for the playoffs i'm not sure but we'll have to see what happens i hope to see almarola out there soon also, give me your thoughts on Haas CNC Racing. Are you excited to see Gene Haas and that Haas team in some sort of way stick around in not just the Cup Series, but the Xfinity Series? And who do you think may be one of the three drivers? If Cole Custer doesn't go to the Cup Series, I guarantee he'll have one of those Xfinity Series rides. So I would say the other two spots are up for grabs. But leave all your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, aka Racing Boy Short, saying peace.